what do you want? And I looked back up at her and I said, freedom! <laughs> <laughs> Is she enjoying the glory of a stolen story? Kamala Harris really likes telling this tale from her childhood. When were you out there protesting? Well, I was in a stroller. <laughs> I was in a stroller. And um, so I was out there. And in fact, my wow. mother used to have a very funny story about I was fussing and, and she said, Kamala, what do you want? And I said, freedom. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Oh, that's adorable. Tell it again. Um, there's a, a funny family story about how so my mother's marching. And this is back when strollers didn't really have armrests and seatbelts. <laughs> and then I think it was my Uncle Freddie, you know, uh, looked down and, and looked in the stroller, which was empty. <laughs> <laughs> and said, where's Kamala? <laughs> and apparently they left me like a block by and I'd fallen out the stroller. <laughs> and then my mother would tell a funny story about how... Like one day she did, and I was fussing and, and you know, and so I'm fussing and fussing. She, it, it's much cuter when she would tell the story, but she'd say, so then she would look down at me and Kamala, what do you want? What do you want? And I looked back up at her and I said, freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad there you, you told that story on your own because I was going to ask you because I wanted to hear you say freedom. Uh, yes, we all wanted to hear her say freedom the cackling commander-in-chief. She put the story in her book. She told the story to Elle magazine, and why not? It's so sweet. Problem is, it's quite similar to a story Dr. Martin Luther King told back in 1965 in an interview with Playboy magazine. Brian, you might have heard of it. Nope. About a little black girl in Birmingham marching in a demonstration, and a cop said to her, what do you want? She said, feed him. Now, Harris always starts by saying her mom told her this tale, just like Liz Warren's mom told her of her Native American heritage. Harris's story sometimes expanded when she told it. Speaking of uncomfortable stretches, let's check in with my neighbor, Stretch Stevenson. This is like what, this is like what, this is like what, don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> yes, <a> sexy fweet. <laughs> He sure did. All right, okay, so Ty Tyrus, all right. Are we all kind of guilty of something like this where we embellish stories that we... we I think, I, well, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm the only one in this room, but I think we've all stolen a line or two from old MLK. So. <laughs> when you're telling a good story, and I, I think I've earned the right, uh, I'm a pretty good storyteller, things like yeah, time, facts, <laughs> Authenticity. That's uh, speed bumps. You gotta, you gotta get there. You gotta make it interesting. You gotta throw some frills on it. And yeah, sure. And uh, clearly, she said freedom, mm -hmm. which with a W. Yeah. And the other girl said freedom, right? With some E's. So it's not plagiarism. You know, it's not really plagiarism. No. Is it bull? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but not plagiarism. <laughs> yes. I. Dagan, I, I'm convinced that as a child, I have, I looked at photos in like as a kid, and then you thought you were actually at these places. Yeah, I thought I could fly. <laughs> I still think I, I, I thought I could fly. I think I it's a dragnet e episode. Right. Yes. I, I, or a flying but, nun, which was also the same era. Sally Field. Yeah. Sexy. Uh, but don't like why lift a story like yeah. just make one up mm. make but you could do better than that she's trying to out biden biden exactly he's the king of the plagiarism but yeah neil kinnock he yeah. that's that's how bad a plagiarist he is he borrows from somebody who was Still never alive. the prime minister of britain yeah uh but she could have been not in a stroller but she was fully walking on her own at two. She had already memorized MLK Jr. sermons and speeches, so but I. she was a genius. And she had she was learning the oboe because she'd already learned the clarinet, for example. Mm -hmm. Like, go big if you're going to make up. Yeah, that's true. Brian, your whole life is make-believe. In a way. Yes. Right. Um, that's your real name. Uh, yes, it is. But I'm going to go with it. A couple of things. Why wasn't this your A block? This should have been the number one story of the week. That whole riot thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I just think we really don't know her. She's getting a total pass on everything. This is just the latest thing. Joe Biden not only made up the story that blew up his campaign in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Remember, he met Nelson Mandela in, in the prison. That didn't really work out or happen. He got, arrest, he got arrested. And then remember that, that war story that totally turned out totally not to be true. It didn't really matter. 
Uh, and the biggest story, of course, the Hunter Biden thing, which he never was actually asked. Yeah, that's and they were told it was inauthentic. It turns out it's 100% true, and it's even worse than we could have imagined. So it's going to be an interesting few years. It was going to be so great to be at Fox's. We're the only one interested in stories that actually are telling the truth or to seek out the truth in it. Uh, everybody else is just asking them uh, questions that Somebody's we don't care about. Somebody's up for their contract renewal. And, and the other thing, <laughs> uh, that's a good point. The other thing is Kamala Harris hasn't <laughs> spoken at all. The biggest surprise yeah. is she has almost been invisible since she got the nomination. I thought it would be just the opposite. You could use her courtesy of laugh around, though, Bron. She, I would love to have her in the audience when I'm telling jokes. No, yes. you don't. No, no, you <laughs> stop. No, We've been through that. The one loud laugher. Yes, it's that's all true. <laughs> By episode three, you're like, <laughs> shut up! Okay. And, two, and two drinks in, it's yeah. bad. All right, Kennedy. Um, you can call her a phony, but aren't all of these people trained to be phonies? Aren't all politicians supposed to have little stories that they make up or yeah, steal? Yeah, these, these humanizing anecdotes? Yes. Absolutely. And that's Everybody. what they're trained to do uh, on the stump. Yeah. Uh, I, my, my problem isn't with this story. I think she's a disingenuous human being. My problem with Kamala Harris is she is wrong on literally every Everything. issue. That's pretty true. Which is impossible. It's almost mathematically impossible. Like, Bernie Sanders, yes, he's a socialist. He wants to take money. His economic ideas are the most flawed possibly in human history. But he believes it. But I do appreciate what he has to say about surveillance. There are areas where, where I am simpatico with Bernie Sanders. Kamala Harris, there's not one thing. <laughs> I mean, she, she's a cop. She was horrible in California. Uh, black men were incarcerated at much higher rates when she was DA in San Francisco. As attorney general, she went after uh, parents because <laughs> their kids were truant, throwing them in prison. Now like, she wants to defund she, the police. She expanded the system. <laughs> Yeah, now she wants to defund the police. She wants to defund herself. Uh, so there's so many, but it, it just sort of illustrates. Defund. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go. We have so much more in this show. My head's exploding. Remember the pandemic? Yeah, it's still here.